I'm Scott Salinas, Princeton University, class of 1997, and I majored in music. The first time I started getting into music was when I was 12. I picked up a guitar and just started fiddling on it. And then within a couple of years, I was playing in bands and then my interest really, really took off. At Princeton, my plan was to be an economics major and become a lawyer and music was going to be a hobby. And I just decided to take some music classes for the fun of it. And then before I knew it, I was definitely gonna be a music major. One of the biggest influences uh, was Stephen Mackey. He was a pretty successful concert composer at the time doing wild stuff with electric guitars and orchestra. And he changed my whole thinking about maybe going into composing potentially for orchestra because he was just a guitar player like I was at one point and he rose to all these amazing heights. In my junior year I was lucky enough to participate in one of the first Princeton ateliers uh, with Toni Morrison and we wrote little mini operas. Yo-Yo Ma came by and mentored us. When you have someone that, like that who's so accomplished that you know touches you especially when you're like at such a young age it can be really transformational. When you're a music major, you always have to study your instrument. My teacher there, his name is Bruce Arnold, was from Berklee College of Music. That was his background. And so after Princeton, I decided to go there and get a certificate in film scoring. When I was just finishing up my final studies there, I just saw a flyer for the Turner Classic Movies Young Film Composers Competition. I decided on a whim to give it a try. As a grand prize winner, they assigned me a silent film from the 20s called Laugh, Clown, Laugh starring Loretta Young and Lon Chaney, and they let you score it. To be at that age, having to deal with 75, 80 minutes of orchestral music, thinking about how to make that flow in an interesting way, it was a really, really great challenge. Amazing experience. Hey, trombones, you're in trouble again. Currently, I'm working on uh, a variety of projects that range from documentaries to film. One film project in particular that had an interesting set of challenges is called The Ivory Game. It's a documentary for Netflix about elephant poaching. The filmmakers shot it like a thriller. Beautiful aerials of Africa and then undercover sting operations when they're catching poachers, hidden camera footage, it all had to be combined in this sort of adrenaline way while still paying respect to the story, which is we need to save these elephants. And what we came to realize is we had to embrace that thriller aspect or Hollywood, for lack of a better word, quality of the film, we had to go with that with the music. One of the things that I find the most fascinating about my job is, oh, we've got a problem, how are we gonna solve it? I feel like I've been prepared for that ever since my beginning education in music.